Hello, this is Quinstar Gremlin of the Green Lantern Corps uh, doing a quick tutorial video on the HUD and ring systems for the Green Lanterns. I'm with Hinsonian Pennyfeather, Cal, uh, Cal Matador, because nobody can ever pronounce his first name, and uh, Sirius Montdale here at the Alliance Navy display for the third anniversary celebration here in Second Life. Um, the first thing I want to go ahead and point out here with the mouse is the uh, listing of names here in white, which uh, is our little radar system that tells you how far away avatars are from you. Um, it doesn't give an exact direction, but it does give the distance, so you can kind of zero in a little bit better. You can turn this uh, off or on using the uh, very the second to the bottom icon. Uh, you just click on it and. Uh, way it goes and click on it and after a moment it will uh, scan again. Oh, turn it back off. Uh, the very bottom icon is for you to drag a texture onto and have your ring display it. A little uh, projector system that Jeff uh, programmed in. Uh, the third button up is Res Dialog. When you click on this it gives you a list of uh, various things that the ring can create for you. Uh, for example, I'm going to click down here on the shield. Now the uh, shield is up. If I right click and uh, enter, uh, this will keep uh, push weapons from affecting me uh, if I'm uh, in a griefer situation. Uh, we can also uh, stand back up out of it and uh, simply touching the shield will make it go away. Uh, the uh, fourth button up here, uh, the big red X, you click on it, and you become invisible. That's another new feature that Jeff has added. Click on it again, and you're visible. So I'm going to step out here a little bit so we can get a wider shot of the next function of the HUD. Uh, the next button up with the uh, little green orb in the center of the green lantern symbol is your travel orb. Uh, this will res it, or if you click it again, it will de-res it. Uh, the next top symbol here, click on, uh, will uh, give you your different glows for your ring. So we'll slide around here. Um, the first one is one that uh, Jeff came up with originally. Uh, I kind of like that one. It definitely shows... Uh, a lot of Green Lantern power going on there. Uh, right below it we have the uh, circles, kind of like a little radar that emits once the texture loads. Uh, you can keep playing around with these. There are some various ones um, that you can set. Um, the big one to uh, keep in mind is all the way here to the right it looks like a comet streaking down. That's your saber. Nice pose there. Got the saber going. And the uh, final part of the HUD is uh, when you're flying or falling, it gives how fast you're going and your approximate coordinates and uh, height from the ground. Um, clicking this uh, button up here again for the glows makes them uh, go away. Uh, the ring has a couple of other functions. Um, for example, I can type ring lock on hens, and it will scan for Hensonian and give me a particle trail over to where she's at, and it will follow her so that I can find her. Uh, I type lock off to turn that off. Um, go a little closer if she there. Ring bioscan hens. It's going to do a bioscan of Hensonian. Um, it tells me when uh, her avatar was born, uh, her approximate height, her location, and it does give me her uh, UID key, but uh, it hides it from the public. So for now, that's uh, about it for the ring. Um, you can add your own objects to be res from the ring. 
uh, and then uh, just simply type ring and then the name of the object you want rest. And uh, that will conclude this video for now.